I'm going to say good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? All right. All right. Thank you. Once again, we thank each and every one of you and all of you together for the co-creation of this interaction and the allowance for us to experience creation through that many more facets, through your own eyes, your own experiences, your own identities. We will begin this transmission with a reminder that we have called it the empowerment of being you. Now, many people on your planet would think that it is the simplest thing to be who you are. And yet, many of you are brought up in your societies, buying into many different kinds of belief systems that have more to do with other people's beliefs than your own, than the ones that are necessarily fully aligned with who you are. <clears throat> Nevertheless, many of those belief systems are given to you so that you can fulfill the theme you chose to explore of transforming beliefs that are not yours and letting them go and replacing them with beliefs that are really more representative of who you are so that you can experience a transformation of self-empowerment. So it's not like the beliefs that aren't yours don't belong there. They serve the purpose of allowing you to discover who you are through the process of finding out what those beliefs are that don't serve you, that are out of alignment with who you are. And as we said, allowing yourself to create the definitions, create the beliefs that work for you that are truly more representative of your core essence, your core frequency, so that you can, through that process, empower yourself and become truly you. Now, the idea is that when you begin to let go of those beliefs that are not yours, you will feel more empowerment, you will feel more freedom, you will feel lighter, in a word. How you know you are carrying around beliefs that aren't yours is that they weigh you down. You feel resistance in your life to acting on your highest passion. There are always reasons that come up to not do so. There are always excuses that seem logical at the time. Those are your clues that you're carrying around ideas, beliefs that have nothing to do with you. Those things that belong to you weigh nothing. They do not weigh you down. In fact, they energize you. They drive you forward. As we have said, acting on your highest passion brings the driving engine into your life of energy and allows you to be very excited and very enthusiastic about getting up in the morning and doing whatever it is that excites you at that moment, however the excitement chooses to express itself however you choose to be you that day. Again, the idea is this is a process of self-awareness, self-recognition, self-empowerment, and it begins most crucially with the age-old concept, the age-old saying, know thyself. The most important thing to really dig down and investigate who you are to understand the difference between what is you and what is not you. And through that process, many of you will attract into your lives, quite often, things you don't prefer. But this is because you can use that as a comparison to have clarity between the difference of what you don't prefer and what you do. So any time that you may observe something you don't prefer, it doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path. It's not about what happens, it's about what you do with what happens. It's about how you respond to what happens. It's about, as we have said, your state of being. And as long as you remain in the state of being that you believe is most representative of who you are, that frequency of energy that is your core essential self, you will always be able to use whatever happens in any given circumstance, in any given situation, in a positive way and get a benefit out of it. No matter how it looks, no matter how it was originated, it does not matter. Only the state of being will allow you to experience your life in the way that you prefer to or in the way that you don't. So by always choosing to stay in a state of being that is your preferential one, you will always let the empowerment be felt, you will always allow your power to flow through you, you will not be giving your power away, 
you will be the best expression of you you can be, which after all is your fundamental purpose in life, to be you, the unique you that you are as fully as you possibly can. That's your fundamental purpose. How you choose to do that is up to you. Now your excitement and synchronicity will show you what is truly you and what is not. So by all means, follow it and go with the flow. But understand that it's not about controlling things, it's about surrendering. And when we say surrendering, it's not about giving up control. If that's the way you're interpreting the concept of surrender, then you have a definition that doesn't work and is out of alignment with your true essential core. Surrendering does not mean giving up control. Surrendering means allowing yourself to let go of what you think control should be and actually accept the control you already naturally have. Because you all have it. You're all in control. You're just playing a game to pretend that you're not. So it's about letting go and going with the flow of the current that is truly you because that current will carry you exactly where you need to be carried. That's what surrender means. You're surrendering to the control you already have by letting yourself be carried by the current that is truly you to the places you really need to go. Sometimes what you say you want in life can coincide with what you need, but very often what you want may be the product of belief systems that don't work and ego structures that aren't necessarily being expressed in your best interest. So it is always perhaps a little bit more clear and a little bit more constructive to understand that the most important thing is what you need in order to be yourself, not so much what you want that you think you need. It's about what you truly need. And if you let go and go with the flow of your true energy, your true essence, your true current, you will always experience what you need. You just have to begin to really trust the way your life unfolds and stay in that positive state so that no matter what happens, no matter what comes up, you will respond positively, stay in that state, and you will get the benefit that is always there in every circumstance for you. Is this making some sense to you? Are you sure? If it is not, perhaps we can clarify some of this personally for you in some of the questions that you may have so that you can apply it to your own personal situation and circumstance. We are always for clarification so that you truly understand what is being said in these transmissions. And please understand one of the more important things in understanding what it is we are sharing with you is that we are not simply delivering a philosophy. We are not delivering an opinion. We are giving you an instruction manual for how reality works. That's all this is. It is a simple set of instructions and it is a description of the actual structure of existence and how you create your reality. So if you allow yourself to really wrap your mind around the instruction manual, you will be able to utilize the structure of reality, the nature of reality to your advantage instead of utilizing it to your disadvantage. Unless, of course, you're excited about being disadvantaged and I won't stop you if you are. But the idea in general is that you're all now waking up to your true power. You're becoming more self-empowered, more self-aware, more aware and recognizing that you deserve to experience your true self, that you deserve to manifest the things that are truly you because they will always bring you joy. They will always bring you bliss. They will always empower you. They will always take you exactly where you need to go in perfect timing and you will be able to walk the path of least resistance in your life. And again, these are not just nice words. This is not just a philosophy. This is an actual description of how creation is structured. So if you begin to really understand that this is an instruction manual and that there are very few instructions in it, that it is truly a very simplistic idea, then you'll begin to be able to utilize these tools that are contained within it in a very clear and precise and powerful way. And you will experience your life transforming very magically, very synchronistically in every single area of your life to which you apply these tools, these instructions, these understandings. And you'll be able to walk through life in a self-empowered way, being the you you truly are, the you you were created as, 
and you will, as the puzzle piece, fit perfectly with all other puzzle pieces who are also truly being who they are. Does this make sense? A little enthusiasm? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> For again, it's all about acting on your excitement. Now, yes, as we have said, excitement doesn't mean that you have to be jumping up and down all the time and talking a mile a minute. No. You can be calm, you can be peaceful, you can be meditative and still be expressing your excitement, the excitement that is true for you. So, self-empowerment, being the true you, will align you with everything that you need to be aligned with in perfect timing. Please remember that you have, in many ways, made all of the appointments that you need to make for this life. All the things that you need that are relevant for you can manifest for you in perfect timing. And that the only exception to this is to spend your time and energy wondering and worrying if you will miss an appointment. That's the only way you will miss the appointment. If you don't spend your energy and time wondering and worrying if everything that needs to happen will happen, then everything that needs to happen will happen. But it will happen in perfect timing you're not necessarily always the arbiter of what that timing ought to be. But if you trust the way your life unfolds and you trust the synchronicity tool within the kit of excitement, you will see that whatever amount of time the timing occurs in will actually always be perfect for the amount of time you needed to experience the process of getting you to that point so that by the time the timing unfolds, you will have the deepest possible appreciation, the deepest possible understanding, and the deepest possible experience of whatever it is that is unfolding in perfect timing for you. There is always a reason to go through the process if the process is necessary, it will always enrich you and give you the ability to fully use whatever it is that manifests for you. Always. Again, by trusting the way your life unfolds, by trusting that you already have the vibration that you need to give off, it is always radiating from you and always manifesting exactly what needs to be manifest at exactly the right moment. Now again, even if what manifests is you, shall we say, are capable of observing neutrally that it may not be what you prefer, still recognize it must be there for a reason. And that reason is to give you an opportunity to empower yourself by recognizing that it's not what you prefer, but not going into a non-preferred state about the fact that it is manifested. Stay in your preferred state and you'll be able to always extract the lesson, the learning, the benefit from even things you don't prefer because you will be in a state that will always allow that thing to translate in a way that benefits you, to translate in a way that aligns with who you are. Does that make sense? All right. Enthusiasm? Thank you. Meditation? Thank you. So, let this sink in. You don't have to hold on to every word that we've said. We are transmitting energy and information to you on many different levels. Let it unfold as it needs to. You have missed nothing. And there is more information than what you are hearing with your ears. You will get it. It will unfold within you again in perfect timing. At this timing, and once again in return for the gift you are giving to us in allowing us to experience all of you, we ask now, in what way may we be of service to you? You may begin with your process of questioning and discussion if you so desire.